Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Sally Face Episode 3. Previously on Sally Face, we left off with a bit of a cliffhanger, as we met the ghost of our dead friend. Is this real? Am I dreaming? White room? Find me in the white room. Don't forget what I told you. Others, let's not stop for this. Let's see, but you must not. I get the gist of it. The only one who... Let's see... Believed you is dead now. What should I do? Run? Huh? Yeah, let's run. Whoa! TV! That does something. Don't want to get too close. That was really close. Enter. There used to be a door here. But it's gone now. Is it true that you have chosen to forego legal help in favor of representing yourself? Yes. I've had nothing to hide. Can you speak to your conviction of being an innocent man? Are you sticking with the story you've told the police? I will share the truth. Are you saying your original story wasn't true? I have no comment on that. Can you comment on the supposed person that allegedly killed your mother? How do you explain no witnesses or evidence of any such person? I don't see the relevance of that now. Is it true that they are going to add the Sanderson murder to your charges? That would be news to me. But honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin on me too. And what about Charlie Mansfield? I have nothing to say about him right now. Except that I did what I thought was right at the time. Okay, and since we're not getting any major details from you, let me ask you our highest polled question. The viewers are very interested in this one. Is it true that you are granted special meal privileges because you are afraid of baloney? I'm not afraid of lunch mean, okay? I just... well, uh, it's a long story. Your trials are still a few hours away? I think we have plenty of time. Uh... Alright. This is why this chapter is called this. What if I were more than just a doodle? Well, no, Mr. Doodle. Hello, are you okay? Pyramid Head does not want to talk. What would you? You have eyes. What's wrong with your friend? He's not the truth, and the truth destroyed his soul. Now please leave us alone. Your head will frighten the children. Can you tell me where your friend ventured to find enlightenment? You traveled to the wise prophet beyond the fields of death. But a round head like you will never make it. Oh wow, we. 
A little offensive there, buddy. Are you okay? What happened to your limbs? Well, I'd never. How would you feel if I asked you what happened to your weirdly shaped head? You blockhead. I didn't mean to offend. I uh, was... Oh, go bother someone else. Hello, miss. Don't pay no mind to my sister. She's been cranky lately because of the sun. We have a sun? Maybe we have a drawn one. It's no problem. Our ancestors were mauled by the great beast. Ever since our people drawn without limbs. What sort of beast could do that? Eraser? We do not speak of such things. If you want to know more, you'll need to seek out the oracle beyond the death fields. Are you the great beast? Well, fuck you too, friend. No, I'm sorry, don't put me into mine. My temper rises to the sun. The great beast hasn't been seen for over a hundred years. Yeah, we're like... Everyone just makes stereotypes of each other over here. Do you know where the great prophet is? You mean the crazy old hag who lives beyond death? Just take that ladder down. It's always a ladder down. Are you playing Spellunker? Hello? You shouldn't have come here. Where am I? A dark place. Is this the field of death? Horrible things happen when the sun burns out. So this is... So it was an eraser. Huh. Oh, it's one of these. Are you the prophet? I am called many names by the sticks. Do you know about the great beast? It crawled for the great home many years ago. It ravaged the sticks for decades, then was laid to rest by an explosion in the sky. Most believe the beast to be dead, though we know better than that. What is the great hole? Eons ago, we created a great hole in the papery fabric of this world. A hole that contains all the knowledge in the universe. How do I get there? What is the truth left to you? I don't know. What do I have to offer? Everything. This is a prequel of Paper Mario. This is how the Paper Mario world was born. We're the ancestors of Mario here. Youch. Excuse me, Mr. Fisher? Sal, wake up! Huh? It doesn't look like math to me. Oh, sorry. I must have dozed off. I already finished the test. I know, dear. You aced it as well, very good. Just try to stay awake for the remainder of class, okay? Sure, it won't happen again. That guy's just giving the deaf eyes. At first you aced the test, you fixed so much better than us, now you just nap it, please. And Mr. Phelps, eyes on your own paper. Hmm. Class is almost over. Make sure everyone hands in their test before leaving. Hey, freak! Nobody likes a goody two shoes, Sally face. Be quiet, Travis. Your hair sucks. Nobody likes a cliche bully, Travis. Don't you have something better to do? Shut up, bitch! What the fuck are you? You know, if you took that stick out of your ass, you may actually enjoy yourself for once. Maybe even make a friend or two. Oh man, we've gone full Daunt to the Demon Slayer over here. You kiss your daddy with that tongue? I'm sure he... Ow! Oh, looks like he does have like a little bit of bite. What the hell, asshole? Are you alright, Sal? I'm fine. Come on, let's report that jerk. No, don't worry about it. I'll just make things worse, trust me. I've dealt with bigger bullies than Travis before. 
Sal, you're bleeding. I'm okay, really. Here, let's use my bandana. Wait, hold on, I, you can't, uh... Is it really bad? There, looks like it was just a small scratch. Don't worry, you can hardly see it. Ah! <sighs> Thanks, Ash. Dude, what happened? Was it Travis again? That prick. I'll kill him. Larry, I'm fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Sal's right. If you stir the pot, it could just make things worse. Not if he's dead. They'll probably just haunt the school and be stuck with that bonehead for the next two years. Until you get the Ghostbusters in here. Then he would kind of be kind of double dead. Huh. Says the group skeptic. You know I love you guys, but the ghost stories are a bit much even for me. So really just gonna let this travelous thing go? It's not worth it. Plus, think about it. Who knows what his home life is like? He's got a lot of pent up rage. There must be a reason. I'm sure he's just angry that they switched bologna sandwich day to tomorrow. Heh. <laughs> Seriously. I've never seen anyone love the crappiest lunch day so much. It's like a prison meal. It doesn't even like Pizza Fridays. Who doesn't like pizza? It's human human. Maybe he's an alien. <sighs> That's all we need. Psst. Larry? I hope you killed Travis when Sal is looking. I heard that. The next day, Blona Day. Yep. I feel like everyone here lined up at this table really hates their lives. But at the same time, they kind of accept it. You know, like adults. Does that bologna smell funny to you guys? I thought last week's was a little off-putting, but it seems even worse this week. I heard it's made from goat meat. Did a bunch of the kids call in sick the day after bologna day last week, too? Well, hey, you guys. Don't ruin lunch for me. Please, it's only a good part of the day. Group huddle? I'm in. Me too. Call me in. Have fun. I'm gonna stay with Chug. We need to find out if there's anything wrong with the baloney. Maybe it was a bad, ch bad beef or it's expired or something. Bad goats. I'm telling you, dude, this shit is funky. This is like no beef to me. The product is most likely a blend of low cost meat components from different sources of beef, pork, chicken, and turkey. Todd, man, you're making my stomach turn. It's like the hot dog incident all over again. Ugh, I hope not. Sal might be onto something. There could be an issue with the lunch meat. I might take our sandwiches to a science lab. It seems like a funny bacteria or signs of expiration. However, it'd be helpful to know what exactly means are. Okay, Ash, you go with Todd and help him in the lab. Larry and I will try to get more information from the on the bologna. Sounds like a plan. Let's go look around for clues. Knock Phil Warriors. Pray. Done. Hey Travis, what's going on, man? I thought I smelled trash. Get bit, Travis. Don't you have some sandwiches to attend to? You're lucky it's blown a day. Why does Travis hate the world so much? 
Hi, Kim. You want to ask about the bologna? Can you tell us where the school buys it from? Why do you want to know about the bologna, eh? Something's wrong with Kim's cooking? No, no. We were just wondering where it... We could go and sit back in chairs now. No more questions. Do you think we could just see the package, or... No packages for you. Just butts and chairs. Go on. Thanks. Well, that was a failure. She always seems unhappy. I wonder why she stays here. Socioeconomic reasons. It's like the kids make her sick or something. Dude, what if Kim is poisoning the lunches? I know this town is room for another conspiracy theory. Oh, I guess it's worth looking into. Why don't you see if you can sneak into the principal's office and look at her files? While you do that, I'll check in with Todd. Alright, I'll see what I can do. So how this game works. I actually wouldn't be surprised if there's some kind of poisoning conspiracy going on. Sal's locker. Just some of my textbooks. Todd suggests that I take physics this year, and I'm actually enjoying it. The world we live in is fascinating and filled with mystery. I've had this pack back since I started going to school here. It's a little worn around the inches. This is our cosplay. A picture of us from Halloween. That was so fun, I'm lucky I have such great friends. The Ninja Turtles. Sally, of course, is Leonardo. We usually use paper clips to open our lockers. It's faster and we don't have to memorize combos. If I had a paper clip I could get to have the other lockers. Let's see. My paper clip over here, maybe? You never know. Empty, empty, empty. Useless to us. Cafeteria. That's just the other end of this place. Missing person. Huh. What a view. Courtyard. There's a ball up there. So what's it do? There's a loop around? The layout confuses me a little bit, so here's Ash. Hey, what's wrong? Limp closet is locked. I need something in there to test the bologna. I tried to pick the lock like Larry showed me, but now my hairpin is stuck in the keyhole. It's jammed up good. Hmm, could use some pliers to get that out, but... Yeah, they've been in the closet of the janitor, but he always leaves for lunch. I'll see what I can find. Thanks, in the meantime, I'm gonna keep trying to get this out. There's a class in there right now. 202, Science Lab. Ooh, Sticky Tech. Hmm. Maybe we could use that to kind of get the thing out by using the stickiness and then pulling. Find anything? Not yet. Were you able to get the baloney and the ingredients? No, not yet. Where's Ash? Be right back. So let's see what the end of this hall. 104. Mr. Pankerton's classroom. Hello. Exactly what we needed. in there right now, cafeteria. So it kind of loops around. Don and his boyfriend Neil. They're always so happy when they're together. That makes me happy too. Potato. The potato light the thingy was a science experiment that Todd showed in class. I'm surprised it's still going. Todd has never shown supplies for his inventions. 
I don't know how he does half the thing he does. The guy's a genius. I'm much surprised that Todd's locker is half filled with books. I really admire his passionate curiosity and hunger for knowledge. Larry's... What do we got here, Larry? That's one of my paintings. I was gonna throw it out, but Larry insisted on keeping it. He said, Great art doesn't need to be cute or beautiful, as long as it conveys genuine emotion. And I feel a shit on this man, I really do. Oh my god. I think that's the only drawing that Ash made. She actually taught Larry a lot of what he knows now. She's a great teacher. We may have never became close if it went for Larry. Anything in your bag? Ooh, corn. <laughs> Larry's backpack. We've been thrown so much over the last two years. He's more than my best friend, and he's family I know. I don't know what I'd do without him. Larry's art stuff. He's so messy. <laughs> in a way, I so admire that carefree mindset. Nothing useful here. Ash. Ash makes these stuffed dolls. I think they're cool. She calls them little dudes. Some of Ash's photos. One is an older picture of her and Larry. I'm so glad I met those two. Oh hey, that's me. I didn't know she had this in her locker. Ash's art supplies. Ash and Larry are such good artists. They try to teach me, but I'll never be as good as they are. It's okay. I have fun painting and drawing with them, and they never make me feel bad for not being good at it. Ash's Polaroid camera. She's always snapping pictures with it. This could come in handy. I'm sure she won't mind if I borrow it. Take that. Okay. We can probably use the sticky stuff to uh, open up the wind closet. Any luck? The teachers are all in the lounge. I'm waiting for the right moment to sneak by. Is there anything to the right of the courtyard? Window. The teachers are in there. I need to find a way to get their attention without them seeing me. Maybe make a loud enough noise. Birds. So let's go around, back over here, hey, maybe you could use a sticky tech to get that pin out, it's worth a shot, awesome, it came out, and I was able to get the door unlocked too, it must have been close to getting it open with the pin, alright, now that I've got what I need, then head back to the old lab. Cool, I'll meet up with you and Todd in a little while. I have to figure out a way to get the ingredients first. So... Polaroid. We snap a picture of them. Got a ball. Do, do we throw them at the birds? Throw! Huh? What was that? I don't know. It sounded like it came from outside. I don't see anything. Never do I. It was those damn birds again. See so if we can find the birds. Maybe we're supposed to spook him out of the tree? Hey, a bird! No, we just took a photo of them. Quite literally. Do we, do we have to put a picture of a bird on here and make him look- Oh, that's a real bird right there.
You can pass. Yeah, good thing of that distraction, dude. I saw our file. Awesome. Anything to help us? Well, I had to book it. So I think a good look, really. If you can distract the teachers again, maybe I can just take the file. No, we don't want to draw their attention to ourselves by stealing the file. Alright, you're the boss, Sally. So what should we do? Give me a minute. I'll think of something. Hmm. The dance ball is perfect to distract the teachers. Now I need to figure out a way for Larry to quickly get info from this Kim's file. Here, use Ash's camera to take a picture of the files. Great thinking, dude. Ready when you are. Okay. Let's throw the ball again. Let's go back inside. Did you get it? Dude, the file is missing. Oh great, this was useless to us then. What? How can that be? No one else could have went in there without us you seeing them. <laughs> Just jerking your chain, man. I got the picture. <laughs> you butt nozzle. <laughs> Score. Let's take a look at it. Let's see, anything weird? Amateur nature photographer. I think I know what to do. I'll meet you back in the lab. You got it, dude. I can't believe Larry was sitting in the principal's office with all the teachers right next door. So we're gonna take the photo, show it to the cafeteria lady. Maybe earn their trust. I got something for you. What's this? A photograph? A birdie? You take a picture, eh? Yeah, I took it for you. Just a small thanks for all the hard work you do. You're a sweet boy, Sally. Thank you. So I was wondering, can you tell me where the school buys a baloney from? What are you so interested in baloney for? Oh well, my friends I really like and want to know where we can get some. It's local made by Miss Packerton. 100% beef. She brings from farm once a week. Hmm. Here I get some extra meats for bringing Kim a nice photograph. Thank you so much. Is there gonna be an actual conspiracy? Like, oh, the baloney's people! Something like that, cliche. Go back to the science lab. Got more bologna. Perfect. Kim said that was made, made by Miss Packerton. Well, no way, dude. She lives in apartments. How could she make her own lunch meats? Exactly. Oh yeah, I forgot she lives there. I hardly ever see her. I've probably seen the buildings twice since I moved here. She tries to return at the late hours. I believe that she keeps multiple jobs. You just don't get paid as well as you may think, so it's fairly common. However, when Miss Packerton is home, she makes quite a lot of noise. It's very peculiar. Oh god. It's street meat. So what do we do? Should we ask Miss Packerton about this odd side business of hers? Or are you boys gonna do your whole detective thing? <laughs> oh no. What do you think, Sal? Let's do a little stupid before going to Packerton. I don't like the way this is playing out. No wonder we don't like baloney. If something nefarious is going on, it'd be best not to let Packerton know that we're looking into it. Agreed. We call Sally. Alright, why don't you and Larry go check out Miss Packerton's classroom while the teachers are on break? T Todd and I will finish testing this baloney. 
exactly what I was thinking. Okay, we'll be back. Larry, I need you to be my lookout. Look by the door in case anyone comes down here. You got it. You ever wonder what dinosaurs would think of music? If they're still alive? They'd blow their freaking mind, dude. Yeah, it probably would blow their mind. I'm sure they would love rock and roll. You know, because they come from bedrock. Rock on. Damn. She keeps her desk drawer locked. Do you remember how I picked the lock like I showed you? Yeah, but there's no keyhole. A combo lock? Shit, dude. How are we gonna get that thing open? Do the math problem in the back, maybe? Let me take a look at it. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's three one four one. Got open. Nice one, dude. What's inside? There's a bunch of math papers in there. Hold on, what's the hidden compartment? Man, there's some freaky stuff in here. What is it? I'm not sure. Little jar so it would look like spices. Maybe for cooking. I should have a bird skull in here. It's kind of creepy. It's a Bible. The book is really old, but there isn't anything special about it. Crystals! They're actually kind of cool. I wonder what Packerton uses these for. A bunch of papers with random notes and symbols scribbled on them. Looks like they're written in another language. I can't make any sense of it. Strange metal objects in Jim's puzzle box. Take. There's another one of these metal boxes, like the. Shit. Is it happening again? Yeah, I, uh. What does it mean? Are you sure? It could just be dehydrated. You need anything to launch either. It's done. Huh? It's already over. But... Never mind. Let's go check in with Todd and Ashley. Hey guys. We found some sketchy things on Packerton's desk. How are the tests coming? I'm not getting any sense of harmful chemicals or bacteria. However, I think we can all agree there's something peculiar going on here. Whatever it is, let's not mention it in this to Chug for now. The poor kid almost had a heart attack when he stopped serving meatloaf. Yeah, Ash is right. Let's keep this under wraps until we know for sure what's going on. Well, I guess we have to know what we have to do now. Damn. I'm gonna miss the action again. I have to watch Ben until my parents get home. I can help out after that, though. Later that day. I'll need a few minutes to get ready. That's cool. I'll take care of something first, anyway. Okay, let's be up in Todd's room once everyone's ready. Yeah, perfect. Cool. Oh yes, the apartment. The place we always go to in the end. Camera. What do you want, Sal? Just want to see how you're doing. Maybe old, but I can take it myself. Thank you very much. <laughs> no problem. 